Hey, um, I'll just be, I'm getting a couple of questions about how to do um, certain things with the Alembic exporter from uh, Blender to Unreal Engine um, because of the video I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, a couple of months ago maybe. Um, I'll add a link to that video in the description and at the end of this video as well. Uh, but um, yeah, I just thought I'd run through some some of the things that, that um, of course some, some people have asked how, how I would export a treadmill, for example. Uh, which has gears that animate separately, I assume something like this. So this, this is just a quick demo to show how I would do something like that. So if you've got uh, ge a gears system set up here, by the way, this was added in with, uh, if I do shift A and I, I have a gears um, option here where I can uh, create gears basically and uh, adjust them as well, which is quite neat. Um, if I move that over there, shift A, mesh, gears, gears. Um, you can go in here, you can change the number of teeth. Um, it's very nice. Um, total customization. Although you could probably do all this stuff now with geometry nodes. So uh, it's kind of redundant probably. Um, the way you add it in is go to edit preferences and you have to add, enable the extra. Extra, extra objects, there we go. Extra objects, curves, and extra objects, meshes. It gives you a whole bunch of different new um, uh, options that you can have in there. It's pretty useful. So you've got more on the curves than comes with Blender by default. So um, it's just, it's built in as well. You just have to go and enable it. Anyway, so um, this uh, gear has got just two keyframes, one at zero, and then I am animating the Y axis, I think it was. Oh, Z axis, yeah, of course. Z. Um, so it just starts at zero, animates up to 360. And this one does the exact same thing, but minus 360. This one does the same thing, 360. And then there's just a simple uh, cloth simulation on here as well. Uh, just a, just a, a plane that I subdivided a bunch of times and added a cloth object to, did nothing else. Very, very simple. Um, and I've added in some material uh, onto here as well. So, um, yeah, very simple. Um, but the, the, the thing about this is that it is static objects effectively, which are animated and a cloth simulation. So, the, so I would export these three as a Alembic simulation, or if you want to really optimize things, uh, export each individual one as an FBX. <coughs> Well, that takes a lot longer to set up in Unreal. So if you're not doing it for games and you just want to do it for a visualization and uh, you're not too worried about the performance because this, these objects aren't massive, this is a very, very quick and easy way to do it. So grab all three, um, go to File, go to Export, uh, Alembic. Um, these are the settings I've used. You need to change your settings here to whatever the amount of keyframes are that you want to include in the export because it bakes down the vertex data for every single frame. How many frames do you want? It's up to you. Um, if you get stuck with anything like um, normals not being displayed correctly or not or too smooth or not smooth at all, go and have a look at the last video I did, uh, which will be in the description because I, I cover everything now. So export the gears, uh, which I've already done. I'm not going to bore you with a wait for that. Um, grab the cloth object and do exactly the same thing. File, export, Alembic. Um, you do, uh, yeah, you yeah, need to make sure that you have selected objects selected as well. That's also important. Um, scale, also increase it up by 10 um, and that's it. So you've got this, this, these three objects and this object exported. Let's go over to Unreal Engine. Uh, of course, make sure that your uh, Alembic uh, importer is enabled and restart and then you'll be able to just drag and drop your simulation caches in into Unreal. So in Unreal Engine uh, we've got the geometry cache which is the cloth here, which is this one, and the gears here as well. So I've already imported them over when you drag and drop them into this window, you will get, if I click re-import here, you will get this window, it's exactly the same. So you have, here you can see I've got plane, which is the cloth object. And the only thing that you'll need to do is change the static mesh to geometry cache. 
Um, again, there are some things in here that you may not have set correctly. Um, scale, again, I've increased the scale because it's quite a small scale in Blender still. So this, this converts it over to, to the, a bigger scale, basically. So whatever, you, whatever your scale is set in your scene. And also the rotation on the x-axis needs to be minus 90 to, to have everything correct. Uh, these other options are optional. You can obviously check the, check, the, check the previous video if you've got any problems. Um, then just cl shift click, uh, click here, shift click here, drag them both in, and then that will be aligned correctly to each, to each other when you place them into the world. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, the, the reason why I did this, it may seem obvious now, uh, is that you can go in and you can drag in your own materials. So if you separate the objects out, when you come into Unreal, it means that you can still apply your own materials. Um, and yes, you can. Um, I've obviously gone in here and I've made sure that double-sided, uh, two-sided is set. And I've just dragged in a simple texture as well. Um, in Blender, here, you can see that the, what you, what you get in, um, in Blender, in terms of the UV layout, is going to be very similar to what you get in Unreal. So um, you, you may need to go in and customize things a little bit, but for certainly for simple textures, it just works straight away. Um, if you do a UV unwrap, however your UVs are set up in here, um, is is should be how it, it exports over to you to um, to Unreal Engine. So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope that was useful. If anyone's got any questions, uh, let, let me know. If, you, if anyone's got any tips, drop them in the comments. Um, yeah, cheers.